of school, each grade level picked a country, and we rotated kids through each classroom so they got to see who the teachers were and what their classrooms looked like. And they learned about different countries and um, they made a craft from the country and that kind of thing. And then each classroom picked something to represent Kansas. Fourth grade, we chose Dorothy. And then we sent her to New Mexico. Um, we knew she arrived in New Mexico. Then she got sent to Colorado Springs. Colorado Springs sent us a lot of stuff. Then she kind of fell off the face of the earth. We didn't know where she was. <laughs> so we told our kids, we don't know if Dorothy's coming back, guys. Well, the Tuesday before school got out, she came home to us. And uh, she had her little turtle friend and her hairbrush, because you can tell the first picture <coughs> before we sent her, her hair was a lot longer than it is now. But we were amazed. She ended up in Lake Tahoe. She went to Massachusetts. She just, our stream went from just one little place to all over the place, so we were really excited about that. They sent stickers, they sent pencils, um, there's a school in Colorado Springs that had her. They, if we do this again, they really want to be included next time. Okay, these are some of the individual classroom buddies that people did. Um, all that's doing. And this is Fluvi. He came to your ePals. He is the mascot for the International Exposition, and we get to keep Fluvi. He never has to go home. And all we did was send pictures around our city. We took him on our field trip with him. He's gone to, what, three conferences, I think, now with, <laughs> between all of us. And I emailed Nacho yesterday, the guy who designed the program. and sent all of our pictures with the, at Fort Hayes, the museum out there. And he had a good time checking the pictures. And the kids will learn. And I also did Ming. He was for, uh, a minibus from China, which we didn't put up there. And we found him on, he was e -Pals. again. We've done so many we don't remember. Then Sunflower Sam was my other travel buddy. Then you did help Baby, Baby J was the other third grade teachers. Um, she signed up for a kind of a round robin mascot exchange. They had Baby J, which was a little Jayhawk right there. And there were, I think, six schools or six teachers. And she would send hers to California, and California would send it on, and they would keep it for three weeks. And then when time came up, they would send it to the next person. So it just kind of rotated. Got it back. It gone all the way to Australia. That's as far as the trade reached. She got this notebook back, and it was so thick. It had all these pictures and insight into what school's like in Australia. It, it's remarkable. Um, the highlight of my year was getting Elliot. He's four foot four inches. He weighs 15 pounds. He was started by a teacher named uh, Doug Hand in Illinois in 1980. And he's been traveling the world since 1980. He's the official spokesman for Rubbermaid, so they give him a new trash can every year. When they deliver him to your school, they deliver him in this trash can. It's all taped shut. He's met the Queen of England and Prince Philip. Um, he's been on Hollywood Squares. He flew in the space shuttle. He flew with the Blue Angels. He lived on a tiger sanctuary. And then he came to our school. He's traveled 4.7 million miles in the past 27 years. He has an honorary bachelor's degree from Yale and an honorary master's degree from somewhere in Florida. So he's just remarkable. So he was our travel buddy for two weeks, and I kind of shared it with the rest of the school. He went fishing with our Head Start class and about fell in the pond. And so school got out, and I had to send him back to Illinois so he could go visit his real family. We feel like we've taken our kids everywhere that we possibly could have taken them this year. Um, They've learned to appreciate where they live. They've learned to appreciate Kansas. But at the same time, they appreciate other cultures, and they have a better understanding of different places in the world, which was kind of our goal.